Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Mike. Mike? Mike Mandarino. Mandarino. Thank you very much, Lori. And Mike, tell us what we have here today. What is this you brought today? This is a 1988 Twin Turbo Callaway Corvette. Twin Turbo Callaway Corvette. And this was a GM option from 1986 through 1991. If you went to your local Chevrolet dealer, you can check off a box and the code was a B2K option and that allowed you to uh, purchase a Callaway twin turbo Corvette through General Motors and General Motors warrantied the cars through 91 before the introduction of the ZR1. So this was it before the ZR1? That's correct. And this car was also a 200 mile an hour vehicle. This one has the updated aero package on it Let's which take allows the car that. to go over 200 miles an hour. In 88? In uh, 88. That's an incredible number now, let alone, alone. <laughs> in 88. But let's take a look at some of the features. Clearly, we've got some hood venting. That's the true scooping for the intercoolers. I'll open the hood here in a second. Yeah. And you can take a look. Uh, maybe we can go around the whole car and then we'll come back and open. We are going to do just open that. The hood. We're going to come to the to the hood last. I'm noticing on the calipers, there you've got the the Corvette and the uh, venting on the side. But what's amazing to me is just uh, uh, that this is this is straight from the factory. I mean, you know, looking at uh, the Callaway twin turbo and uh, the venting in the back here, specifically for the lights, but very, very neat. Well, the straight sides is, is again part of the aerodynamics when they were engineering the car mm -hmm. to be sure that it, it could go over 200 miles an hour. And again, like I said, that was a package that was offered after the original ones were, were produced. They were offering the aero package and they offered it to all the owners to uh, upgrade. And as Callaway developed the Corvettes from 86 on, they kept making subtle improvements. So there was some horsepower changes as well. This particular car got all its up, updated. It was also selected to be in the uh, Woodward Avenue cruise for and park in the General Motors area. Uh, it was also a Bloomington Gold special collection car, one of 19 cars uh, that was selected by Bloomington Gold to be in the collection of Callaways. And Mike, Mike, I'm going to give you a little shout out here. You you have a website called. I have a website called uh, RareVets.com. So please come and visit and look at some other cars. It's www. Dot rarevets.com. Let's take a look at the interior of this one. Sure. This is great. I want to fe feature here the, uh, this is where the gas goes in? That's correct. Okay. Yep. How's that work? Just lift up. Okay, cool. All right, great. And the real neat Callaway Corvette emblem. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Now tell me about the interior, Mike. Now, uh, the, the original owner, I, I am the second owner in the car. The original owner, when he ordered the car, opted for some fancier stuff. So there is some leather work and, and optional interior work that was, was done with the car. Okay, and the Callaway Corvettes and the power seats. This one is an automatic. Again, this is the first automatic aero body that was done. From the other side, when I open the door, you'll see the badging on the dash, which gives the number of the car. I'm going to uh, sit in there and get that badging. So let's, uh, would you mind turning it on just so I could see the uh, interior? Sure. And there's the badging. What he's talking about. So there are only 400 made. There's the... To that point, that's correct. Actually, I think the number count was a little bit greater. You can see all the digital wonder. That was very 19, 1980s as well. All the Correct. all the gauges looking like so. And the Callaway Boost that was uh, standard for that. Yes. And everything on the interior I can see is is original. Number seventy eight. All right, let's take a look. Uh, we can. Sh we can shut it off and take a look under the hood, although it sounds great. You can hear it. I want to take one shot of this as well. And here's the Callaway 
options as you can see in all of the detail there. If people have the time, it's uh, fascinating to uh, even go on YouTube and, and look up uh, Reeves Galloway and the amount of uh, work that he did on the Corvettes with General Motors. So Mike, what do we have here? Point stuff out. We've got... Again, we've got the, the intercoolers which are sitting on top. You won't be able to see the turbos. They're sitting below. Uh, the Callaway actually cut part of the frame to use that as an airflow to, to get the, uh, more air in. They come down into the turbos and then bring it up. And then it is cool with the functional uh, intercoolers which we've seen earlier which were those scoops. They also, Callaway actually added two extra fuel injectors for power, which uh, sit right on the uh, inside panel. the other side, just so people can get both pieces of that. considering when it was built. Yo, cool. Amazing, amazing with, uh, with, with the time frame. Let's shut the hood and let's have you stand next to your car. Mike, thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you very much for having me.